Hello, welcome to uh, today's Diary of Disabled. I am uh, I'm still trying to process some new information I found out this morning. I have uh, gotten my mammogram results and uh, I've got a 5.5 uh, millimeter mass on my right breast. And I had no clue. And it's very inconclusive. And uh, yeah, I don't know what to think of it yet. I'm still trying to process this new news. And it's been quite the morning. But I'm trying not to read too much into it because um, several of my aunts have had uh, benign cysts and masses. So I'm just going to pray and um, hopefully uh, we'll have things scheduled as soon as possible for more testing, more imaging, more uh, tests. Possible biopsy? I don't know. I don't know that... Um, requirement for size for any of that I don't, I don't I don't know I don't know anything about it um but it's scary I just know that it's, it's scary <laughs> I have yet another bunch of exams to do and I also got some other bad news this week from the VA uh, I have a meeting to set up with my lawyer for next week but I'm chronically happy <laughs> and I'm going to continue fighting for what I think is right for me and um, I'm going to keep on going. Um, I There's nothing I can do. This is a Friday afternoon. Um, I wrote my doctor a message, hey, make sure to check my latest test results to my mammogram, please. I would like to discuss it with you further at my next appointment, which I'm on hold for right now. I didn't know the date at the time I wrote my message, but I had to pull, pull my big girl pants on and uh, make that phone call. As scared as I am, I need to know. Um, I already got some, you know, nodules in my thyroid. Um, it was interesting, my um, doctor that did my colonoscopy and endoscopy on Wednesday uh, she told me I need to get my thyroid checked, which I've, I've, I still got that taken care of. Um, I still need to talk with an endocrinologist. I need to still talk with a urologist. I've already we weeded out the neurosurgeon, um, but I do do this VA case. I need to figure out who I need to talk to about these this Chiari malformation that the VA's. But I still need to figure out um, what I'm going to do about the VA and then say no, that the service did not aggravate my carry malformation and I am begging to differ. Um, even though I know I was born with some of my issues, the service aggravated some. So I need to plan accordingly. And get some more doctor's opinions about whether the service could have aggravated my Chiari into being worse or not. And it sure in the F did. Um, I just don't know how to prove it. I've been around this circle for years with the VA. It took them 12 years to approve it for me. And then now they're trying to take it away. And... I just, I don't understand why they are doing this to me. And now I have all these other health concerns I need to, my, my doctor that I only met once the day of my procedure, and I met her like right before my sedation hit, and then only when I was all drugged up did I talk to her again <laughs> after the procedure. And she told me I needed to get another gastric emptying study done. Um, I already know I have gastroparesis, so she gave me handouts on gastroparesis. Um, she gave me, uh, test orders to do my thyroid test, my celiac antibodies, and 
um, the gastric emptying study. And I feel like there's something else I'm missing. I don't, I don't know, but it's basically just blood work I've already had ran. But I will do it again. Um, just the list is piling up. The list is piling up of this many damn referrals and specialists. And I need to get all this done in the next couple months before I go on my vacation because I am not going to let my vacation get ruined by all these appointments and whatever is going on inside my body that is just deciding to go, hey, pay attention to me. Pay attention to this too. Oh wait, that's what this is going on. <laughs> And then I'm still fighting the VA about my disability. At 14 years later, I'm at 100% service connection right now. And I don't know what it's going to be if they end up taking that away again because I wasn't at 100% before they approved it. So it makes me really worried about going back down. But I have so many other things I need to deal and focus with with me right now with my health. And then I also have a bill in collections from stupid lab tests from like two years ago that the VA was supposed to cover. And then I have to get all the document and paperwork out and I have it. I have copies. I just am so unorganized. I mean, the, my paperwork is a mess, guys. My paperwork is a mess. I just don't have time to be sick or disabled because I have so much stuff going on. It's just never ending. It's never ending. Look at this. I was like, at least I've opened my mail. At least I've opened it, okay? I've opened my mail, at least. And then this one. Yeah, there's that one too. I got two of them to go through. And uh, let alone trying to process my emotions and feelings about my current test results. Man, it's his life. This pull of ups and downs, but I'm never gonna give up. I'm gonna keep fighting. I don't have it in me to give up. I have it in me to just, I wanna live till I'm 100, so, you know, it's just gonna have to happen. And this is my, one of my newest bracelets. <laughs> That's what I say about life. <laughs> Eat me. <laughs> oh, I love my bracelets that I make. Uh, I got some really damn cute ones I made yesterday. There's some necklaces I made. Advertising my necklaces on my hat. <laughs> it's all about love, people. Love. I love myself. So I'm surrounding myself with lovely... <laughs> Love necklaces and my wacky, wacky little guy. <laughs> Enjoy life where you can, people, because you never know, seriously, how much time you've got left. I mean, I have a lot of time left in my mind. I mean, I'm gonna make it that way. Shark attack. <laughs> my little shark bracelet. <laughs> Hydrate. <laughs> Hydrate. I got some water bottle. Ooh, ooh. Uh, starry. This brings me so much joy. <laughs> Go batty. Go bat. Get it? Go batty. <laughs> Another hydrate. This is the first one I made. It's got color changing beads on it right here. <laughs> this one that's so damn adorable. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> right here. <laughs> Moo. Milk. <laughs> oh, this one's so adorable. This is so adorable too. This milk me is what I put on this one. So I'm going to put Go Bananas and, and I could not leave out the Chalky, Chalky Milk. 
So those are just some examples of my fun jewelry that I make and I give out to people randomly that I come across out in the public wherever I go. Uh, I wear extras so I can just give to people just to see a smile on somebody's face because there's just not enough smiles out there in the world. And uh, you know, I'm going through quite a bit of stuff right now. I'm fighting the VA. I'm fighting for my health. I'm fighting for uh, compassionate doctors. I'm fighting for my life. <laughs> uh, there's always going to be something going on. I, I know this. I have just so many diseases. <laughs> and you wouldn't know it by looking at me. But I love life. And I'm so happy to be alive. And I hope to, seriously, inspire you to keep going. No matter how tough things get. Things could always be worse. I don't want them to be worse, but I'm just saying, you know. I feel very fortunate to have what I have in life right now. And to have a house over, or a roof over my head. A place to be. Um loving mom and dad that still love me and are still alive that I get to spend the last of their, you know, retired years together with them. I love them. I love my parents. And, uh, you know, you don't really know what you have until it's gone. And I'm trying to treat every day as a, a new day and a new possibility of good health and happiness. Every day I can have happiness. I just have to choose happiness. So, just choose happiness. It makes life so much happier. So much better. Uh, I don't want to dwell on what I just found out about my test results. I don't want to dwell on uh, missing out on the weekend. I'm going to, uh, after I post this video, I'm going to uh, get changed. Uh, get in the shower and... Uh, Freshen up so I can take my dog to the, the park and go play and get her energy out. She's been uh, hanging out with uh, Nana and Papa all day and they've been doing stuff out in the shed, getting their garden ready for the, the spring and preps for uh, the freeze that we're about to have. But just uh, try to be thankful, everybody. Uh, we, we all don't know how much time we got with the, the those that we love, so please cherish every moment that you've got with those that you love. Tell people that you love them. I tell my friends I love them, because I just never know how long we've all got together. And, uh, gosh, I, uh, I've had nothing but fantastic connections and human interactions this morning with some of my bestest of friends in different states across the United States. One down in the south, one in Vegas. Went up north in the freezing ass cold. <laughs> um, but I'm so thankful to have made these connections. And I wouldn't have made these connections if it wasn't for uh, my one being my gaming friend that I game with uh, down in Alabama. And then my friend that I've known since I uh, was stationed in Denver in Colorado. She was a civilian friend I made. And we've been friends ever since. She's my beastie. <laughs> Beastie because she's a beast, because she's survived so much. She has survived a carjacking, being ran over by people that carjacked her. She got ran over by her own car. Uh, I just heard an amazing story about my friend up north, uh, and I met her in a Facebook group. She just went through some horrific experience where she almost lost one of her sons to a gun accident. It was just mere seconds, and a bullet hit her fridge instead of her son's face. Um, I, I, it, it sent sh chills all over my body when she told me this story, and uh, it, it was just <laughs> within the last couple of weeks it happened on February thirteenth, and I'm just like, wow. Uh, the world would have been such a terrible place for her after. Uh, that accident that, it, that almost happened. Uh, so yes, please, please pray for me and my friends. <laughs> There's a lot of scary things that can happen at any moment. And just try to be humble. Be thankful for what you've got. 
my love goes out to all of you that are experiencing anything tragic and so traumatic as such as things like those. Uh, my heart goes out to you all. As my heart goes out to myself as well, I'm going to be praying that everything is fine and everything is just benign. And it's just more of a wake-up call. I need to make sure to get all my exams done. I can't slack. I can't slack on my doctor appointments. This is where I'm being paid to be is disabled. I'm getting paid to see these doctors so I can take care of myself and stay alive. Because I have so much more love and inspiration to give. I can't stop my journey now. Uh, and it's not going to. I'm, I'm only beginning. So... Yeah, I'm going to beat this, whatever this is, and everything will be fine. It will all be okay. But even then, it's okay not to be okay. Things happen, and you just have to keep going and keep going with the flow. Things are meant to happen when they're meant to happen and how they're supposed to happen. I fully believe that I am catching whatever this is when I need to so I can continue moving on with other things. So, anyway, I just wanted to give everybody the update. I haven't uh, been posting very frequently as much in the last week. I've just, I've been dealing with a lot of tests. <laughs> and then I've been trying to process my feelings about those test results that I have found. Um, you know, all these little things are little signs and little, you know, they're, they're blinking at me and they're telling me I need to be checking something. And so, so I listen to my body and I think... If more of us listen to our bodies, we could really do, we could really detect a lot of things that, before they really do happen. I know, I've known that there's something going on, and I just couldn't pinpoint what this is. Whether this is related to what I've been experiencing or not, I don't know. But, eh, it's telling me I need to be checking into it, so. I'm not going to give up now. I'm going to, like I said, this only just began, so. I'll have more answers here soon, and I will let you all know when I know them. I mean, I just found these things out within the last three hours, so I'm still processing my, my booby news. <laughs> I have a bump in my booby, and uh, we'll get it figured out. Peace out, y'all. Have a fantastic day.